So I'm here at the Goat House with Chef Paul, and he's going to be at the Adirondack Climate Food Festival coming up this June 29th and June 30th. And today we're going to be preparing one of the many items that they will be serving at the festival. Um, so tell me a little bit about what you're going to be serving. We are going to be serving a black Angus beef slider okay. with a Brazilian rub and balsamic onions okay. garnished with uh, pickle and olive. Sounds wonderful. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Show me a little bit about how you make this. Okay, well, I'm going to start here first with the balsamic onions. Okay. I've been simmering these for a while. Okay. We're going to add some balsamic vinegar to them. That just helps caramelize them. It, it, it does, yeah. and it also gives it a little pang. Yeah. And then we're going to add some, some of this sure. brown sugar. Okay. Just to even it out so yeah. you have a balance of sweet and sour. Okay. And, it, and we actually serve a homemade steak sauce, which is a first radish base steak sauce, so okay. I think between the three ingredients it actually adds to the flavor. Gotcha. And it actually makes it look a little more fancier than just a regular old burger. Oh yeah. So now we're going to grill our sliders. Okay. And we're going to take the good quality hamburger. Yep. It is a little bit slider because you know, small it's enough, small enough item where you get to you know, experience a lot of things at the festival, but yet you also get to have one in both houses. Absolutely. Okay. Delicious uh, item for this. Well, also it's portable. It's easy. Exactly. You don't need a spoon. It's only rub with cumin, yeah. uh, smoked paprika, salt, pepper, the ground. How long does it take to cook one of these? Oh, it's not, not long. I can see that. It's barely enough. So what kind of buns do you this use? This is a brioche bun. Okay. You get these. these are made in Amsterdam, New York. Okay. These are made locally. So there's a local so product. It is. Perfect. So lots of butter. Yep. So we like butter here. Butter's good. Butter and sugar is good. <laughs> And what kind of cheese are you using? I'm using an H cheddar. Okay. New York cheddar. Yep. We'll balance it out with all the wine at the festival. Absolutely. If you're out to eat or you're, you're going out for something like that, you shouldn't be on a diet. You should just like, go out there to enjoy, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself, yes. You know, that's what it's for. Exactly. Because you get to experience so many different Absolutely. local wineries, breweries, restaurants. Uh, you get to meet interesting people exactly. also. So we're going to put some balsamic onions on them. Now, are you going to be serving anything else at the festival, or is it just uh, We're doing a Ghirardelli dark chocolate brownie with chunks of dark chocolate all through it. Okay. And a nice caramel glaze on top. Where is that for dessert? Because that's what I bought. So, we got these, and I'm yep. going to put the steak sauce on the side for you guys okay, today. Perfect. But normally, we would put a squeeze bottle yep. just a little bit on As the top. As an option, if you wanted. Right. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. That's great. Enjoy, ladies. Thank you very thank, much. Thank you for coming in. And I brought two different wines for us to try with this today that okay. we're gonna, um, we might have at the festival. So okay. I brought our Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, that sounds And wonderful. you know, just a classic, it's probably gonna go well with a, a beef slider. Yep. And then just to um, experiment a little bit, I also brought our Amethyst Sunset. Okay. And I think it might actually cut the horseradish nicely. Perfect. And are these the glasses that we'll be getting at the festival? Absolutely, aren't they great? They're beautiful. They're nice and big. <laughs> I know. I mean, Jen, you are gonna have 120 vendors to sample from. And like these guys, I think we have 11 food trucks, including of course the boathouse. Oh my God, we have to try this. It's yes, I know. Nice. Cheers. Okay, yes, absolutely. All right. Now I'm diving in. I think the caramelized onions make them. Mm. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love the cheese. First radish sauce is amazing. That is excellent. Now, what did you think about it? Did you try the Cabernet Wiener? I did. I think it's really nice. The smokiness of the oak is helping with the onions. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think if you see this at the festival, I would go with the sauce versus just regular ketchup and mustard. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Well, you know what? I think we have to finish this before so. we can pour the amethyst. Obviously. <laughs> I mean, dumping it out would be like a sit. Try the amethyst sunset now. Okay. And it's really nice and light. It's nice that you have a red that you chill for the summer. So we'll see what you think about this. It works well too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this takes the sweetness of the horseradish mm -hmm. barbecue sauce just up a notch. These are really great. And you know, I'm so excited for the Adirondack Wine and Food Festival, which is coming up on June 29th and June 30th. Um, Cause I'm definitely gonna get a lot more of these and a lot more of that. And I really hope to see you there. Cheers.